Så, då ska ni vara super, super välkomna hit till gudstjänst här på Livets ord. Den första i första. Gott nytt år på er vänner. Gott nytt år. Jag tycker det känns väldigt fint med 2023. Det här året tar vi med storm. Ska vi inte göra det? Ja, men fantastiskt. Så gott nytt år på er allihopa. Jag hoppas att ni är vakna också. I hope that you are awake too. I am awake anyway. And uh, I'm going to be keep myself awake during the whole of the church service. And uh, so, so this is a, the start of a new year, 2023. And uh, it might be that we are in different places. Maybe you feel like uh, 2023 will feel like uh, um, very, a lot of uh, worry, a lot of challenges. Or maybe there are, there are people who feel like uh, um, 2023 is rolling out the red carpet in front of them. Uh, we are, we can be uh, in different situations, but uh, but anyhow, we shall start this year together with uh, prayer and worship. If there is anything that we can do together, be it that you feel everything uh, is awesome or uh, your situation has been challenging, we can do this together. We can always start with prayer and worship. So as we do this, as we invite God, no matter how uh, much control we have or we have not, um, so we can pray together and we we want to lift our hands together as the first thing we do and let's praise and worship together so i truly look forward to praising and worshiping together with you so at the end of this church service i'm going to tell uh, tell you a little more about this prayer uh, period but right now i already i just want to say that from the 8th of the 23rd of January, we are going to have this prayer period. So take part as much as you can, and you will be blessed by that. And, and I'm, I'm going to get back to this soon. So let's start this year with prayer and worship. So let me read a piece from, uh, from Psalm 128. It's written... 128. I lift my eyes to the mountain. Where does my help come from? It comes from the Lord, which has made the heaven and earth. He will not let your feet uh, 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 vacillate. And he who watches over uh, Israel uh, does not slumber. The Lord shall preserve you. Uh, he is your protection on your left and uh, on your right side, and the sun shall not uh, strike uh, strike you down. The Lord shall uh, protect you from all evil. He shall be your He shall be with you in your coming and going out, and for now and uh, for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, that we get to come to you in the beginning of this church service. We can we can reach out to you. You are with us in our coming in and going out. Father, we thank you and for, uh, for this new year, 2023, and we shall start this year with worship and praise, with prayer together. Father, we thank you that uh, you shall come with the Holy Spirit to touch us. And we want to say that, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Oh. You are welcome to lead us in the prayer. You are welcome to to speak to each one of us, and we just want to open ourselves up to you. And uh, you are welcome in our midst. And uh, Holy Spirit, do operate in our midst. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. So let's start with uh, let's st stand up and uh, start by uh, praising and worshiping. Vi har problem med ryskan fortfarande. Det är hörs ingenting. Eh alltså du hör från din telefon. Han får inte igång. Jag lyssnar på appen och han lyssnar på appen och hörs ingenting. Men ditt ditt språk engelska hör men inte ryska. Så jag växlar engelska så hör jag. Jag kan sätta mig 
Att de inte har det gamla systemet med hörbror. Det, det har vi där borta. Vi har ju kört, försökt att köra två system samtidigt. Ja, ja. Både interaktiv och det gamla systemet. Ja, det är det här med att man kan inte Du kan tolka direkt till apparat, alltså det där. Okej. Okay.
Den här funkar ibland. Ja, jag tror att det är på glapp. Så... Det är glapp. Så vi har ganska många rysktalande nu så att det är... Mm.
som blev slaktat för vår skull Lejonet av juda Ljusets herre Tjoria Through the blood of the Lamb, I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I enter.
Hallelujah. Oh, Herr, wir preisen. Lord, we praise you. We thank you because you are holy and you will come in your holiness and uh, to meet us and to make us more prepared and more like you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for the year that we have just um, put an end to, 2022. We thank you that you held your hands above all of us. We thank you that you've led us. And we thank you that uh, there has been great moments and uh, challenging moments, and there have been difficult things. But uh, there, there were a lot of things happening in our own lives, in our, in our world. Think about how much has happened. But we thank you, Lord, because you are the same. You are never going to change. Uh, time and, and, and the periods change and situations change, but you are always the same. And uh, we, we praise you, and uh, we can come to you, and we can look back with uh, gratitude and how you have taken us through 2022, that you have been with us all this year. We thank you for the miracles that took place in 2022. We thank you for all the doors opened in our own life and uh, to a new uh, stage uh, in our family, may maybe in our uh, extended family, uh, in the world, uh, in our vicinity. We thank you for all the great things you have done, and uh, you have always protected us. We thank you for all the blessings. We thank you for all the answers to our prayers. We thank you because you have been great toward us. You have shown yourself uh, steadfast and faithful in 2022. We thank you for this year. And uh, we want to take back, and there are maybe things which are still um, weighty, weighing down on us. We take this moment, we, take, we lift these things to you, we give these things up to you. And so we may truly close the door on that year that has just finished. And so that we, in gratitude, may lift our eyes, and may, we may uh, direct our attention and uh, open our hearts in expectation for the year uh, that you have for us. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Maybe you have gone through things in 2022 that uh, is uh, uh, coming up, uh, it can be difficult things, maybe things that uh, dwell uh, in your mind, but it is over now. Take a little moment now, so, and uh, thank God for 2022, and then we go out into this new year, this full out into this new year, 2023. Let's just take a half minute or something. Mombrum Braza Horum Barashil de Gerebehinde, Lebraza Horum Brushil de Gere, Mombrum Braza Horum Brushil de Gerebehinde, Furum Braza Horum Barashil de Gerebehinde, Kimbrum Bahorum Brushil Dara, Mombrum Braza Horum Brushil de Gerebah, Morum Braza Horum Brushil de Gerebehinde, Braza Horum Lacharan Brushil, Morum Braza Horum Brushil de Gerebehinde, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, as we go into 2023. The mind can still uh, dwell in the old year, but now we choose to close the door to the, the, to the year that has just passed. We close that door so that we may turn wholeheartedly to the new era. We praise you and worship you, your wonderful name, and you who, have been, who has been faithful and you have been faithful to us. You have been, you are going to be, remain good. To, you have been strong and you will remain strong and be our strength this year. We do not enter into this year alone, rather we do it with you we, as a church into this new year, into this open door that you have opened for us. We thank you for the opportunities that will uh, show up. Amen. 
In Jesus' name. And to please be seated. So this is a praise uh, and worship uh, church service. So we will have uh, more of such uh, moments. Uh, we're going to go into uh, a little bit of uh, 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 pray, uh, prayer for this new year. My name is uh, Stefan Mubari. Uh, and uh, uh, Radiat and Tobias, uh, we will be responsible for, for this. Uh, and the man ahead, oh, uh, sorry, I forgot his name. And uh, and uh, they are going to lead a part of, and, uh, and I and Eva will we will uh, uh, lead another part, and uh, so we will have a different uh, focus uh, on different areas. Before we do that, but let me share a Bible verse uh, which has followed me over the years, and which has come to this church uh, during the uh, the course of years. This is a Bible verse which is for us, for this time. It's in Isaiah 43, verse 15. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and horse and the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinguished. They are quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things, consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall bring f spring forth. Shall, y shall you not know it? I will even make roads in the wilderness. So let's take this in, in, the, in the correct context as we enter into. Uh, in. So this is a prof a prophet Isaiah. So, so many hundred years after Moses have has uh, taken the, the Israelites out of uh, Egypt and into uh, freedom. And uh, this is the big thing that ha took place. So during the, the time of Moses, these are the great uh, events, uh, momentous events that happened. These were the start of this, the Israel nation, Israeli nation. And uh, so they are then commanded to commemorate this every year at Passover and uh, through generations. This is they remember what the great God has done on all those miracles that took place. And here, many hundred years later, Isaiah received a word from the Lord uh, where they are exhorted to remember that even though things were how great it was when Egypt was closed, uh, closed for them as they uh, left Egypt, but here he says, do not think about the things of, of old. Uh, you know, this is almost contradictory because the scripture says that they should commemorate those miracles. Uh, the reason is that it's not because those things are not awesome, but because the Lord is doing something new. And uh, something will uh, surpass what was done before, and something which is going to be even more important for the future. And now we take uh, this into our situation. And let me remind you, and many of you uh, know, so 2023, we are going to celebrate 40 years. So if you speak about uh, time and, 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 uh, and uh, era, we often speak about the generations. Now there's no uh, specific uh, number in the uh, in the scripture which says how long is one generation but 40 years it's about a generation so we think well the Lord has given us this word uh, as a church and as for our international work namely the Lord has done a great miracle 20, 40 years ago when he raised up this this great ministry and uh, around this ministry and uh, and uh, there was this church and together there, ha there has been enormous amount of work done in Sweden and in internationally, and uh, 
there can be a temptation to remain in this thinking, well, this is awesome, but now things are different. But, uh, but the Lord is saying to us that we are to be thankful for the things of old. We shall preserve the things given by God, but we are not to dwell on that because the Lord is about to do something new. And uh, what is go he going to do? Well, so in verse 19, see, I am doing something new. I, did you not pay attention? I'm going to make a way in, in the wilderness, a path in the wilderness. This means that it's a new way. There was new, no paved way where it is difficult, where there was no good condition or prerequisite for a path. And a river in, in the desert, well, if the river is to uh, rise in in a desert. That means that the desert is no longer going to remain a desert. And I think this is applicable to many places, including Sweden. God is going to uh, use us. We are not going to be the uh, the only ones, but He is going to use us to take God's glory and God's river into Sweden, and in order to make a way of the, for the uh, uh, gospel. Uh, in, into this uh, spiritual desert that Sweden is now. And so let me just uh, encourage you with these words. And, um, and in this word, uh, so we have all, God has always worked uh, in this way. When he starts something new, he puts a spirit of prayer on a group of people or his people, his entire people. And there has been prayer, there's been new awareness, new expectation. As we step into this, then new things may be released. And um, if we are to say like this, well, for those 40 years, they have been wonderful. And, uh, and also, and some years have been also not, not as great. And the darkness has truly tried to stop what God wants to do and what God wants to do with us. Think about what happened to Pastor Yane. We're going to pray for him in a, in a moment. And uh, I think it's truly an at attempt to stop or to remove what God has uh, raised, but he is not going to succeed. And this is a calling for us to go into prayer for the new things. And this is, uh, he says, has it, this has already started. Have you not paid attention? There's, there shall be much more. So for 2023, and uh, uh, no matter how challenging this year might be, the Lord has something. And if we listen to him, and uh, if we go into the prayer, and uh, things will just get great, better and better, and stronger and stronger from the perspective of God's kingdom. Amen. And uh, so, uh, God willing, we, we shall go into this. And, uh, so, and we're going to do this now. And God raised up a, a ministry, a powerful ministry, and, and a church around this ministry. And now, uh, now there's a... And, and there, uh, this may look slightly different now, but God is going to do His work through us. So now, can we uh, can we take a few minutes? Uh, let's take a few minutes, and uh, and you self, you yourself, you go before God and seek God for a moment uh, for this year, and let Him just start to uh, put things in your heart, and let Him open up 2023 for you if you have not done so yet. So let let us do that. Let well, we can remain stand uh, sitting, and uh, and but as we start praying later, and if you can, we will stand up. Lord, 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 we thank you, we thank you because you speak, because you speak life and and future, and uh, you speak about the fact that you want to uh, make things. You have plans uh, which are well uh, 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 thought through uh, and and, and um, forged in the heavens, and uh, y you will uh, also reorient us uh, 
so that we may uh, be at your disposal for the work you are going to do. And we take this moment and uh, we uh, turn our mind and heart to you. King of glory, take your place now, have your way now, King of glory, King of glory, take your place now, have your way now, King of glory, King of glory. Your place now, have your way now, King of Glory, King of Glory, take your place now, have your way now, King of Glory, reign in my heart, reign in my soul. Reign in my mind, be in control. Reign in my family, reign in my church. Your will be done here on this earth. King of glory, King of glory, take your place.
be in control. Rainy, my family. Rainy, my church. Your will be done here on this earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And Lord, we open our hearts so that you may lead us uh, to this year. And you can be the, f the first in our life and the center, front and center in our church. And you will find your place in our city and our country. And uh, we thank you, Jesus, that uh, you will touch every one of us and you will give us words. Uh, words for the period uh, ahead of us and for this year. Give us promises from the scripture. Speak to us in different ways. It, it can be about early promises and that can be resuscitated. We take this and sometimes uh, this can be the same uh, uh, promises that you make about different things and may your word be uh, alive and to be powerful and uh, be, be in our lives so that we can truly separate uh, the the discern between the spirit and and heart and all the intentions and uh, so we may truly listen to you and uh, and uh, lay down the things that are only weighing us down or, or be a hinder to us. In this way, we may go and we may say, as Isaiah said, as he have, has seen his own sin uh, in front of the altar, and he, when he said, Lord, here I am, send me, and you will lead us into this new year, and we may experience the fact that you are the person who is leading us and sending us. And we want to lift, lift up Pastor Yane now. We pray for him. We pray for him that you will let all those evil that the, the, the evil one has thought about, uh, this will come to nothing because we thank you, Pastor Yana is still alive and, uh, and, uh, and he is carrying things, uh, he is receiving things from you now. He is now being re rehabilitated, he is working and training. We will continue to pray for him, you will continue to carry him, and you with the spirit, power of spirit shall truly and fully raise him up. You shall give him the power to come back. We pray that you are the God of wonder. You will do all that is needed so that he may be ready to go, come in and lead the church again. We bless, we bless him today and this, his entire family. We speak out live grace and your presence at this very moment. And this, this shall be like a, an explosion of power in him. And you will show him your ways. And as you speak to him, and uh, he may, that he may take the helms and uh, he will lead. Also, he himself will be led by your spirit. We bless him today. We speak out life over him and healing. And we speak that you will let every, his every body part recover its function. We thank you. We thank you that we may reach out so that you will completely uh, rehab him and uh, you will truly and fully show him your glory and uh, and that the church we will rise up in a new way and we will receive words from the heaven we will be able to go into this new time a new phase and this new uh, blessing that you have for us in Jesus name in Jesus name Thank you, Jesus. I leave the, leave the floor to, uh, to Tobias, and he will lead us uh, in a moment. Thank you, Jesus. We shall pray uh, for our generation and for the next, the younger one, 
also for the youth and for the children. We praise you, thank you, we love you, and uh, we come before you. We lift up all these people, all the younger youngsters, and uh, we thank you for your enormous uh, love. And you love uh, these young people so much, and we worship you, Father. First and foremost, we want to pray for a, a great portion of grace for the young people for this year. We are going to, we will need it. We we know it, and we are going to need you more than ever. We thank you because we have you. And the, uh, we have access to you because the path is uh, being paved all the way to your uh, embrace, to your arms. We can come to you daily uh, to seek new grace every day. We need the grace because for all the things that you have thought about for this year and all the things on your heart for this year, and all the things that you want to uh, uh, you want to accomplish for this year for your kingdom we thank you for your plans and thoughts and your equipment your equipping of the younger generation we, you will raise these even more raise up even more and even more powerfully so that we may march forward as an army and uh, we can uh, we can break new ground in Jesus' name, we thank you, and all the things that you have uh, you have planned, all the words that have proceeded from you, that you have whispered into the hearts of the younger people, and uh, th these words are just uh, lying, waiting f to see the light of day. And we thank you for 2023, and all the things that you have planned will take place sooner or later. We thank you for that, and uh, I also want to pray for for these young for the young people who are living far away from you those who have yet to know you uh, jesus uh, f have mercy over these people have mercy over them jesus i thank you and may your heart reach out to them your heart is 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 uh, beating and bleeding for these people, and these people may come to you, faith in you, their lives will be transformed, and even more, even more in Jesus' name. And I pray for those who have turned away from you, those who have left you, those who have. Uh, maybe come to our school, our, our primary school. People have left their faith. They threw away all that. Or maybe they are about to do so. They are doubting. They are hesitating. But in Jesus' name, we demand these people back. They will come back in Jesus' name. They shall come into your kingdom again. We thank you and praise you. And all the people that Satan has stolen, we shall pray them back in Jesus' name and uh, freedom in their life, you will release their shackles. You will cut those chains so that they may come back to you. We pray that they shall come back to a warm fellowship, into the warmth, and that, that there shall be a warmth for them to come back to. And uh, you, shall, you shall open our eyes, you shall uh, we shall have our bu uh, bubbles burst so that more people may find a place who, those who might who, who, who need you thank you Jesus and uh, and to all of us here who already belong to this family and to your family we want to lift up we want to thank you for the grace uh, for to live in front of before you we thank you for this living faith that we have every day thank you thank you we pray from uh, out of uh, philippians 2 thank you for the encouragement and the encouragement that we receive and holy uh, fellowship we receive in the holy spirit the same love makes us one in spirit and soul.
Instead, we can show humility and set others higher than ourselves. Give us the same mind and attitude and, and the, uh, the way you have. We pray for this year. You took the figure, the, the figure of a servant, and uh, you were obedient even unto death. So help us to be obedient in everything in 2023. Help us to work with trembling, fear and trembling for our uh, salvation. So that your good wills may uh, take uh, happen in our life. Help us to do everything without uh, uh, complaining. Uh, instead of uh, uh, discussing in a uh, in a way to, that we throw into doubt everything, but still we can be pure and innocent and in the midst of a um, a um, destroyed generation, so that we may. Um, we may shine like a like a star, and uh, and uh, you have made us unto the light of this world, and sought for this world. We thank you, in Jesus' name. We continue to pray for the younger generation, especially uh, individuals. We lift up every person, every young people. From the uh, teenager to um, to early twenty, uh, for to the people in the early twenties, and uh, that you shall have room to operate. We pray for a conversation with you shall uh, shall um, blossom. We pray for the spirit of prayer uh, over every believer. We pray that the Holy Spirit that you will give. Uh, so give us the discernment to to, to identify uh, the thieves of time, so that we may, for example, turn off our telephones. And we pray for a lot of room, uh, a lot of time before your uh, face and in your words, and a longing that only you, the Holy Spirit, can initiate. It's a it's a longing. It's a longing. So that we may uh, have a taste and see that the Lord is good, and we may have this longing for your good word, for your presence in worship, in praise, so that young people may um, uh, there, there might there might be a new faith built in these young people. Uh, in their homes, uh, in their rooms. We pray for this grace. We also pray for the families and the marriages. Lord, even though um, there has been problems. We pray for patience and endurance, so that we may wait upon your promises, and uh, and we shall have the patience that you, the patience to see that you will answer the prayer. We thank you that there shall be nothing that can separate us from your love in Jesus Christ. There's no sword. There's no tribulation, no anguish, nothing that has been or will will be will separate the young generation from your love in Jesus in in Christ Jesus. In the midst of storm, we can win an overwhelming victory in you, Jesus, who have loved us. You have given yourself for us. We thank you for that. We praise you for that. Thank you because you shall uh, comfort those who need it. Your good hand, your purity, your light, your life in Jesus' name.
Lord, we thank you for your wonderful victory. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you because it all is fulfilled and it's all real. It's all for real. We thank you for your overwhelming victory. We praise you because you have all power. Because you have all power. No matter, uh, doesn't matter what does it look like, you have all the power. You have, doesn't matter what the world says, you have all the power, you have won the victory. We praise you. We praise you. We worship you. Hallelujah. So, first of all, I would like to exhort you to prayer and uh, and supplication for all those people, for all the people in the leading position, so that we may live a quiet life and uh, in always worthy and God-fearing. And we thank you that we can lift up all those people, especially the kings or the the leading uh, leaders. We worship you. We worship you. Uh, you are the person who has got all the power. You uh, distribute, you delegate your power. Uh, we praise you. Today, we can lift up those who are in the leadership positions. We thank you, Father. And uh, just like you, you, what you said in the Old Testament, you are anointed and uh, you let your Holy Spirit come upon the prophets, priests, and kings, and you shall let your spirit uh, uh, be outpoured over the priests, over those who are spiritual leaders of the country, over the prophets who, sh who speak your words, Lord, and, uh, and may your spirit be also outpoured over the kings, uh, over our king, over our royal family, and those and our parliament, our government, our prime minister, and our, all the other ministers, uh, uh, let your spirit be outpoured over them. So as they do their work, as they serve in this country, in order to serve the people, this, in order to build this country, Lord, we pray that you will let your spirit be over them, Lord and wisdom to make decisions, wisdom to lead, wisdom to, conf to confess to the people, uh, to serve the people that they are elected to serve, come over them. We pray, Lord, uh, pray for a worthy leadership group and worthy decisions and God-fearing decisions and God-fearing way that they shall, they shall walk on. We, Holy Spirit, you shall keep them. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come in the parliament, in the government, and those in the offices where they sit and uh, Holy Spirit, you may be, you can be there and be the voice they hear. You can be the light that they can see. You can be the torch that can light up their world and light up their, their path. May grace, grace and truth, may grace and truth lead them. We lift up the Prime Minister, Ulf Christensen. Holy Spirit, we thank you for him, for him. We thank you for your spirit over him. We lift up his arms. 
we lift up his life, his family. We thank you. That he will live his life before you, under your arms, under your power, and it is you who are the Almighty God. We pray that they shall go with you. We pray for good decisions for this year. We pray for good directions and, uh, and uh, protection of the country. We bind those unnecessary decisions, uh, the, uh, those decisions that only break down. Stop these decisions. Stop these decisions. Those who, are, those who do not favor the country or the people, stop those decisions. We release the good decisions. We release goodness. We release truth and grace. We release grace, grace. We thank you for your protection that we can proclaim and we can uh, sprinkle the parliament and the government with your blood and you may be in their thoughts, in, their, in, in all the committee members, in all the, um, all the ministers, in their every work, in their every deed. We pray for the protection of your blood over the things that are to be done uh, and uh, for those who need to uh, speak there. Uh, may your voice be heard in all the committees, in the debates. May the Bible be honored. May your words be honored. Those which those have built this country, a thousand year Christian heritage, may this be elevated again in the corridors of the authority. We thank you for the Holy thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we pray at the same time as we pray for those who are sitting in the front. We also thank, thank you and pray for those who are down at the bottom, those who are fighting for their survival, those who are struggling from day to day for their life today. Those who are hungry even today, or sick today, those who are alcohol abusers or homeless people. We pray for those people who are down at the bottom. They are struggling to, to breathe. They are struggling to breathe. Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, because you hear and you hear the cry for help that's coming from them. They have no one to help, no family. Maybe they are thrown out. Maybe they are from another country. But maybe they have no food for the day. Those who are freezing now in their soul and body, those who are freezing, those who are, who are alone, they are abandoned but it's, they're not abandoned by you, but they are, Lord, they are beloved of you. They are accepted by you, and you hear their cry for help. You hear their cry. Lord, we pray that you will send us to those who are crying today, and that uh, behind those closed doors, those who are saying, I can't make it,
I want to I want to finish everything. I want to end everything. No, life is a gift. And we are all created in your image and you can feel life with a meaning. You can raise people up again from those lowest bottom places. Those who are lying there that you shall fill them those who are filled with drugs, but you can give them a new life, you can give them a new start. We pray that you have anointed the church to come with the glad tidings, to come with the good news, and we can say that there is healing, there is new life, there is grace, there is forgiveness, there is love. There's a family that is waiting for you. There's a family that is waiting for you. In Jesus, I pray that you shall prepare the church to be the family that can receive those people who are crying today for you. So we say, Lord, as a church, welcome, welcome. Welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. You, the, the prodigal son, welcome home. The prodigal daughter, welcome home to the father's house. Welcome home into the love of the father. Come, come to the warmth. Lord, give us grace to welcome many people this year many people this year that they will be welcomed from the streets and the squares from their seclusive seclusion into your into your warmth and into your arms and prepare us for this for, for this uh, work we will not be exclusive but rather inclusive inclusive we thank you for your grace grace to reach out in a powerful way in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah
Fader, det är vårt land är också en del på den här jorden. Father, our country is also a part of this, this earth. All the situation that we see around us, uh, all the difficult difficulties that are uh, around us. Uh, but we thank you, we praise you, because we, we are doing well. <laughs> we are not under war. Uh, we can go home after this church service. Uh, in, uh, in peace and in calm, uh, and we do not understand how blessed we are, but we thank you. We thank you because you have protected this country uh, during so many years in peace, even though in the different generations we do not perhaps uh, truly understand uh, what it means to have war. We thank you, but we pray, Lord, that you shall operate a work in all the generations that we have just lifted up, that you shall work in the younger generation, and you shall work in the, those people who are taking take their place more and more, their place in the church or in the country. And then you, with your spirit, you shall uh, speak to them. You shall you shall you shall prepare us so that we may enter into the future with open eyes, without fear in our heart. Open eyes, open eyes from, from the perspective of this country. We lift up our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. We lift up our brothers and sisters, all the pastors, leaders, families. Those who confess you uh, to, to um, profess you as their uh, savior, we pray. We pray for your power. We pray for your strength for these people. We pray for your courage and in in their spirit and soul. We pray that you, with your power, you shall come over your people. That you will open those uh, spiritual uh, resources that we ha uh, that you have for us, that you will out pour out your power over your people in Ukraine. You will pour out uh, you, uh, you, upon your people your gifts with your gifts and the gift, the ability to stand far, firm and to break through in this uh, difficult situation. We pray that. They will, they will be able to go much further than we could go. They will take their place in the spirit, maybe in a way that we have never done. And you, with your spirit, your uh, or ability, your power, authority, shall assist them. We stand with them, shoulder to shoulder, with the Ukra Ukrainian people. We stand with them. We stand with them. And we cry out to you, you, the Father of all, Father of Heaven, we cried to you, cried to you. Maybe for the first time in our life, we stand with them. Lord, speak and and to reply and answer. Come with your gospel over the country. Come with your salvation. Come with your salvation, Jesus. Step into this situation. Uh, uh, to in people after people, soldier after soldier, and uh, people in leader in the leader positions. You shall speak. You shall show yourself, reveal yourself, manifest yourself through your love, and uh, through your preachers and the pastors, and your priests, and wherever they might be. Re reveal yourself, manifest yourself in your words. We speak, we pray for your people in Russia, for your people in Russia. We pray, you, you, my God, you shall come over the pastors and leaders, and you shall, with your spirit, open their eyes. You, with your spirit, shall speak to them. We pray for Matsula and Randy in Moscow. We pray you, Holy Spirit, shall speak to them. 
so that they may act in accordance with your will. Father, we pray for that. We cannot uh, just sit there, stand by. We have no right uh, to do this, but, uh, but you can speak to them. Uh, you shall make their eyes see clearly, even maybe they are temporarily blocked. We pray, Lord, that you shall give them clarity. They shall hear your voice in Jesus' name. Uh, we pray for that, Holy Spirit. Lord, we are here. We are not used to uh, sacrificing. Uh, we are not used to sacrificing in your words. It means to come close to you. It means to come to, to sacrifice, to come closer. So, Lord, show us what does it mean truly to sacrifice as we enter into this year and teach us to sacrifice, to, to make a, a great offering and help us to give ourselves, not partially, but all of our being. We pray for our brothers and sisters in, in, in Russia that you, they will hear what does it mean in your eyes to go along the, the path of sacrifice, just like you have opened our eyes so that we may see what does it mean to go upon the path of an offering. So, Lord Jesus Christ, we do not want to stand before you as a superficial people. We do not want to stand before you uh, like those who are seeking the beautiful and comfortable things. We don't want to be like those who we want to be with. We stand, we stand with the Ukrainian people and the, the Russian people. We stand together to see and understand. And, and, and with your strength, we shall go on that path. We shall, with your strength, we shall go on that path. It can be very difficult, but Lord, we go with you. We go with you, Lord. We go with you, Lord. Even though it may uh, cost a lot, we want to go with you this year. We want to go with you. Uh, we thank you that we can go with you. Thank you, Lord, that you have won us over. You have won our heart over. You have, you have drawn us to you. We honor you for that. We praise you. We give you all the honor. We give thee the honor for every step in 2023. We give you all the honor in every step that we have taken together with you this year. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. I thank you because we can lift up those prayer requests that came this week to our church. We pray for those people who are in difficult situations. We pray for those who are, have uh, challenging economic situations. You will help them that they will see light in darkness. It's, we pray for those who are struggling uh, uh, in their marriage or family. Holy Spirit, come. May this new year uh, bring also a new grace to build a new relationship, to find a way forward. We bless those who have who are struggling with diseases. We pray that your healing power shall stream to those. Your healing power shall meet them. And in 2023, this shall be a way or a year of healing, a year of restoration, a year of freedom from pain and weights and shackles. We also would like to pray for uh, pray in connection with the prayer we just prayed for the younger generation. We pray for the schools. We pray for the Holy Spirit. We pray that you will protect this wonderful work that you have raised up. We pray that your spirit shall come over the personnel, the teachers, those who are working over there 
uh, in, in or around the Christian school come Holy Spirit. May 2023 be a year where the difficult situations may be turned into thanksgiving. May this be a year when the young people with great people, many wounds or traumas, they may meet you and may have their needs uh, met and may find calm in their soul. They may find a, a good identity. They may see light for the future, not just the pure darkness. So, Lord, we continue to uh, to hold our protective prayers of our Christian schools. We pray for those schools in Sweden that no attack against, no accusation against these schools, or no attempt to close these schools down shall have success. You shall have your hands over those. They shall grow instead uh, so that the younger generation may learn right and wrong. They shall have a sound foundation to stand on. They shall be equipped to meet, to confront the time in front of them. We bless your wonderful name. We thank you, Lord, that we may uh, raise our eyes in praise and worship to you. You are the, the only savior and uh, liberator, and the King of kings, Lord of lords.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Herre, vi tackar dig, vi tackar dig, vi tackar dig. Lord, we thank you. We thank you because we can praise you and lift you up. Thank you because you have made this place, made place, this place into a place of worship. We want 2023 to be a year of uh, worship. We want this. Pl so if you are here in the in the youth meeting or in the children's meeting or or, or in the church service or the conferences or whatever is going on here, we pray that this place or different uh, different uh, offices and venues, this shall be a place where uh, this shall be a place of worship. Come, come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit and create a new and fresh worship in our hearts and we pray for that hallelujah we do not want to, to just go into something old but, or maybe this is just a continuation no we want a, a fresh tone from heaven a, a tone of worship in our heart for this place thank you because you have as Stefan has mentioned, that uh, there shall be something new in the desert, in the wilderness. Life shall stream forth, and there shall be a tone of worship in our church. Something new that you have burst forth for 2023. We praise you. We praise you in your wonderful name. Thank you, Lord, for this worships, uh, worship uh, church service. Uh, we we uh, we pray that this tone may continue and uh, and launch us into the next year in your wonderful name hallelujah so you may be seated in a few minutes so uh, we said in the beginning of this service that uh, uh, that where, whatever your situation is, be it tough or fantastic, uh, there is something that we can take to us, which is worship. Isn't that true? So there is a place of worship for 2023, so a prayer. So there is something that God will do in us concerning prayer for 2023. And uh, there's also something that that is always right, which is to give. So we are going to finish this church service with a offering uh, before the Lord's pre presence. And we we think of 2023. Well, it's a new year, it's a new situation, new time, but uh, but it can also be in your giving. So 2023 can be a new opportunity, and to me as well, to be continue to continue to be a giver. And I've, I'm reading. A, a, let me read a Bible verse for you. A, a Bible passage, just a few verses, maybe. Second Corinthians, chapter nine. So this is about uh, the the offering for Jerusalem. It was actually Paul and his team. They're going around to uh, gather uh, funds for Jerusalem. So. Uh, so in verse 6, uh, chapter 9, so, but I, this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each give as he pur purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loves a cheerful given, giver, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always have all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. So these verses are just awesome in very many ways, and I believe that that one thing we can do, uh, one thing we can do to to look upon this this this. Uh, this year is to think of it think of it as, as a piece of field so what we are going to sow there shall also be a harvest but in the in a harvest there's always the uh, multiplication effect it's not just like we sow and uh, we 
and comes up exactly the same thing we sowed, but instead, as we sow, there's a true, truly a plentiful, uh, a truly plentiful, uh, plentiful harvest. And uh, there's another point uh, which Paul spoke about. God has the power to put in your hands uh, the things that you can give. Isn't this beautiful? Let's believe that this is applicable to you and me for this year. Namely, God has got the power to give us the things so that we can participate in giving to God's kingdom. So uh, take this Bible verse to you. So I would like to just exhort you a bit. And we are standing in front of a, uh, ahead of a new year, a new field. Let's be a part and sow from our heart straight into this this offering and also into this year. So can we do that? And uh, if you would like to give your tithing, you can do so. And uh, if you are giving via Swish, uh, you can write uh, tithing in your message. And. Uh, and uh, it's very easy to give via Swish. It's the number is 916 60, and uh, you can also give via Vips if you are a blessed uh, Norwegian. So all, all Norwegians are, per definition, uh, blessed. It's okay. You can also give uh, give cash. Uh, I have to think about it. It's been a long time. So I've never had, I've not had co uh, cash in my hands for a long time. But if you ha if you want to, uh, you can do that uh, in the buckets at the exit. So let us take up this uh, offering in faith, and we shall see this field, this field in front of uh, this field, which is 2023, in front of our eyes. And let's believe in the multiplication and that God has got the power to give you something for you to give. We thank you for this offering. This is the first one for this year. We pray and we shall give with faith. We shall plant in this field, which is, we thank you. We take, uh, we, we, we can give via Swish or Vips or or cash or doesn't matter but we believe that you shall multiply the things we give we thank you for that we thank you that we can continue to be a people of faith we can give in faith we can turn our eyes to you and what you have for 2023 so as we put something lay down something by your foot by your feet we believe that you shall also uh, give us something back so we, uh, you can give via Swish, Vips, cash, and uh, the, the, the buckets are at the exit. Let me give you some uh, simple information. Uh, one thing I said earlier was uh, it's about our prayer period, uh, and uh, from next Sunday and to the 23rd of January, we want to invest in prayer. So it's about it's in the evenings and also and uh, mornings. So mornings we have this on the balcony, and uh, evenings we are going to meet here. So the information, uh, well, it's not on the wall, but anyhow, it's on our wall. You can go to our homepage, and uh, you can find the time slots there. So if you use Telegram uh, or the, the, this app uh, for information, then you can also get your information from uh, Telegram. So otherwise, you can go to our homepage. Uh, it's 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 going to work as well, and uh, if you want more information about our church, and uh, you can find these here at our welcomes counter at the uh, way back at the wall, and uh, if you would like to have uh, intercession or prayer, or you you would like to have a conversation with someone, we have leaders standing in front, and uh, we have also counselors and uh, intercessors who can be there to meet you. Uh, as always. So let me say that next Sunday, the 8th of January, we have, uh, this is 
we do not call it a star, uh, uh, start. We started this word uh, uh, upstart. Uh, so the next uh, will be uh, we will uh, uh, kickstart uh, this new uh, year. So if you can come, um, do come. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, you can always read all the new information from our homepage and our social media. So, all right, I think that's all. So, Kal. So, okay, let's stand up. We shall pray out a blessing over you, and the Kal will be coming soon. So, let's receive the Lord's blessing first. So, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let face shine upon you and uh, be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So uh, be blessed. And uh, Carla, uh, Carla, you are welcome to our, uh, to our uh, orangery. We uh, invite you for coffee. Uh, so welcome out, drink some coffee with us, and uh, stay behind. Otherwise, we see you on Sunday. God bless you.